An Ecuadorian oil company is under fire for not shutting down the gas flares in the Amazon fast enough. The nearby communities are alleging that the progress has been too slow and that the flares cause cancer and other illnesses. A flare is burn-off gas emitted during oil production. The flame which constantly burns above the treetops. A provincial tribunal had ordered oil company Petro Ecuador to shut down the flares in inhabited areas by March 2023. But the progress has been slow on that front. The communities that live nearby complain of health issues ranging from cancer to respiratory diseases. Our health has been affected a lot since this oil platform has been running for seven years, more or less, and the gas flaring has run for around five years. So here we've seen many children and women who are ill, including myself. I have vision issues. I can barely see. Rainfall is also polluted by gas flaring. So when it doesn't rain for two or three days, this particular matter piles up in this hole or the unburnt oil on houses' roofs so that when it rains, people collect and consume this polluted water. This is why we see so many cancer cases in this area. The company says it hopes to find a private partner to invest in the technology required. About 65 million cubic feet of gas, which is emitted during oil production daily, needs to be captured. The company aims to begin halting flares in inhabited areas from September in order to meet the deadline. Part of the capturing process is trying to gradually and progressively eliminate the flares within the court's time frame. Gas flaring is not persisting anywhere else in the world. We have to provide solutions and part of it is by capturing. Truth is that we have been burning economic resources and affecting the environment for years. Last year, flares released around 400 million tons of greenhouse gases globally. Dozens of countries and oil producers, including the United States, Germany, France, Russia and Peru, have pledged to stop routine flaring by 2030. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.